Welcome to Fast Philosophy. This video is part of our Introduction to Logic series and explains what informal fallacies are. Now, in the last video, I explained that rhetorical devices don't appeal to arguments, but instead appeal to emotions. Informal fallacies do try to argue, but their arguments are deficient in some way. As with rhetoric, there are very many kinds of informal fallacies. The term fallacious means that an argument is deficient. One informal fallacy is the fallacy of majority belief, and now this is where someone argues that everyone believes something, therefore that something is true. Well, the argument is fallacious because even if everyone does believe something, that something is not true in virtue of them believing it, and it might not be true anyway. For instance, if everyone believed that 2 plus 2 equals 5, it would not be true that 2 plus 2 equals 5. Similar to the fallacy of majority belief is the fallacy of common practice, which argues that something should be done because it is conventional to do so. There's also the appeal to authority, which fallaciously argues that an authority saying so makes that thing so. These are fallacious because in each case convention and authority might be incorrect. Ad hominem is the informal fallacy where we attack a person rather than the position that that person holds. For example, an ad hominem argument may fallaciously argue that Alex likes drinking Fanta, but Alex killed his grandmother, so don't drink Fanta. This is fallacious because it makes a tenuous link between Alex as a Fanta drinker and Alex as a person. Similarly, ad hominem circumstantial fallaciously argues that if someone has something to gain by advancing a particular conclusion, then the conclusion itself is false. This is a fallacy because even if I do have something to gain by advancing a particular conclusion, that conclusion could still be true. There's also to cock, which fallaciously argues that if a person does not practice what they argue for, then the conclusion itself is wrong. This is fallacious because whether or not the person who advances the argument does what the argument concludes does not affect the truth of the conclusion. Another informal fallacy is weak analogies. Now, this is where an uncharitable comparison is made between two things. For example, the fallacious analogy, Picasso liked to drink Fanta, but Picasso also liked to paint, and you know who else liked to paint? Hitler! So Fanta's evil! Another fallacy is conflation of morality with legality. This is where someone's confused morals with what the law says, and this is fallacious because the law is not always moral. For example, road safety laws are nothing to do with morals. Furthermore, it's fallacious because the law is sometimes immoral, such as apartheid laws. Lastly, I want to briefly mention some causal fallacies. Post hoc ergo propter hoc is a fallacy which says that thing Y occurred after thing X, and so X caused Y. Mistaken correlation for cause fallaciously says that X is correlated with Y, so X causes Y. And causal inversion is the informal version of the formal fallacy denying the antecedent, and fallaciously says that X causes Y, so the absence of X will prevent Y. Now, 